Welcome guys, nice to see you. Uh, my name is Fabio and welcome to the channel. I'm a self-taught 2D animator. I started off doing uh, just some freelance videos and things like that and that eventually led to my first studio job. During that process, it was kind of frustrating because I didn't go to school for animation, so I didn't really know how to get to where I wanted to go. I knew I wanted to be a, an animator, but I, I didn't have a roadmap to lead me to my goal. And that's kind of why I started this channel. The, the goal here is just to get you started. Uh, it's going to be targeted towards beginner animators. We'll be going over like tutorial videos, speed animations, behind the scenes, work in progress videos. Hopefully you can get you guys excited about animation and really uh, give you a place to start. So for the first video, I thought we would just take a look at uh, one of the pieces of software that I'm going to use. I'm using Sketchbook because a Sketchbook is free, so it's, there's no real excuse there. And you can produce pretty good quality stuff. So we'll look at some tools, and then in the next video, we'll get you started with your first animation right out of the gate. Okay, so this is the default layout that you get when you open up Sketchbook. Right, we have all our tools up here, in the side, and if you click, you can move them anywhere you want, right? To customize this, I want you to go to Window, and at all these check marks, this is what's showing on the screen. Right, so if I don't want, let's say my brush palette, I click it and it's gone. I want it back, window, brush palette. Okay, so let's do window, layer editor to get some layers. Put that on the side. Right, and you can customize this however you like. I don't really like the lagoon, so let's get rid of that. But this is for drawing, right, not for animating. So we don't really need to worry about this. Let's go to File, New, but instead of New Project, let's do New Flipbook, New Empty Flipbook. Ah, uh, no, we don't do that. And here comes the, the menu, right? Uh, the settings, sorry. So if we look, our default settings are fine for our uh, purposes. If you look here, the frame rate, that's just the number of drawings, number of frames, per second, 24 is fine, we'll press OK. So if you look, if you see, we have a, a timeline now at the bottom. We'll get to this. All our tools are the same. They're all the same as in regular sketchbook, right? We have our pencil tool, we can draw, doesn't matter. If you want, uh, side note, to get some extra brushes, go to Window, Sketchbook Extras, and then you can download a bunch of brushes that are really cool to use in your animations. Okay, so let's go to Window, Brush Library, and this is where you find all the brushes that you downloaded. I like to use uh, this one, text essential, uh, Texture Essentials. So now let's go over, guys. We have our brushes. That's the main thing, our main tool that we need when we animate. Let's go over to our layers, as you can see. So if you notice, there's only three of them. We have a background, we have a mid-ground, and we have a foreground. So on the background, you can't, you can't really do any animation, right? So whatever you draw on the background is going to stay there for the duration of the animation. The midground and the foreground, obviously those are two layers where you can layer your animation. So I like to do my rough animation on the midground, and then I like to do my good lines on the foreground. Just be careful though, because whatever you draw on the midground, you cannot change it. So if you put it on the midground, it's stuck on the midground. If you put it on the foreground, it's stuck on the foreground, so just be careful. There are ways to work around it, but just be careful where you put your animation, what layer you're working on. So let's go make sure we're on the mid-ground. Okay, and now we're gonna look at our timeline. So, 
here we have a blank frame. That's what it's called. You can draw on this frame. Boom. Easy. Now if we want to add another one, we press this little plus button. Add blank frame. The problem is it's not a keyframe. A keyframe, we press that, and now we have an empty space to draw. Right? So now if we go back, first, second frame. So a keyframe, think of it as a new drawing, and a frame holds our old drawing, right? So this first frame is a keyframe. It is held for one frame, and then we have a new keyframe. If I want to erase this, I just click pick, clear keyframe, easy, right? If I want to duplicate, I click duplicate keyframe. And it's very intuitive, very easy to understand. So let's add another keyframe. Now, getting into the actual animation part, I'm going to need to see what I was doing on the previous keyframe, right? I can't, I don't know where I was. So what I need to do is go over here and turn on onion skin, right? So if I press this button, I can finally see my frame from previously and then I can animate it, right? You can look uh, back, you can look forward, Right, and that's good if I want to put a, uh, an animation right in the middle. And it's moving. And uh, the last thing about the timeline is this little scrubby thing down here. So as you can see, it goes one to 24. That's the range of frames that sketchbook shows. So now it's only showing one to 24. If I move it, it only shows frame 16 to 39. Okay, so just if you think you lost your animation, you didn't, just move this back and then to keep it in the range. So that's our basics for animating, guys. All right, we have keyframes, we insert the blank keyframes, and then we can use our onion skin to see where we, uh, where we were before and make our new drawings. Last thing, I'm going to go up here, is some tools, extra tools that, that we might use. So I like to use the transform tool, right? If you don't want to redraw, you can stretch things, you can squash them, you can uh, move them around, right? If you press this button, I can warp it. So this helps if I don't always want to redraw, I can just make some adjustments. Another thing is our uh, rulers. You click this little ruler and one of these pops up. So you can stretch it, scale it, and then I can draw a perfect circle, right? I can even do it with a straight line. And all these tools work in Flipbook. So that's it, guys. That's the basics. With that knowledge, I'm confident you guys can start animating. So if you want to, to do a little exercise, just set up your workspace, right? See how I set up mine? You can drag these to how you like them, and then try and animate just a short, let's say 12 frames, 12 frame animation, and it can be anything, right? It could be just a ball moving across the screen. It could be a, a, a character or something, a simple character, whatever you want. Uh, and then in the next video, we'll start learning some principles of animation.